I'm a Urali, I'm Anne, from the northwest of the state, up around Walgett Way and uh, Lightning Ridge. Uh, I'm a retired school teacher. I re retired from teaching 23 years ago after 39 years in the New South Wales Teaching Service. And during that time, I saw many uh, and important changes in the thought climate. Uh, and as you know, the schools mirror that thought climate. Uh, so I was very interested in the changes made to, as far as Indigenous people and Indigenous education was concerned. Uh, for me, it was a most exciting journey. Okay, it's been the experience of uh, us as a people. That, uh, no, it's, it's wise to develop selective hearing. Now you, you hear what you want, what you uh, would like to hear. For instance, I had a similar experience to yours. When it was known that I was going to go be a teacher, one of the, uh, 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 the ladies of the squatocracy uh, was heard to say, of course he won't teach white kids, he'll only teach black kids. So, uh, I think sometimes statements like that make us all the more determined to achieve uh, that goal. A teacher called McK McKinnon uh, gave me, made it possible for me to uh, to navigate the system because my mum and dad couldn't read or write, and when it was uh, it was McKinnon who uh, was instrumental in me becoming a state bursar which enabled me to go to high school. Um, and we didn't, we thought the education system stopped at the village school. And when a high school was mentioned, uh, uh, we thought that it was, surely must be a school up in stilts. We, we didn't know. Um, but with the help of the teacher and people who knew more than we did in the community um, was able to uh, uh, to make the journey to the high school and that's where it all started. I think what do you, uh, when we look at now our people in outback places um, like the place that I come from, a place called Gadooga or places that are familiar to me like Walgett and Bawarana. We see a lot of people who uh, I think are conditioned to, uh, to believe, and perhaps it's easy to believe, that we should remain at the bottom rung on, uh, on the bottom rung of the ladder. Uh, and they don't, they don't see education as important. Uh, people who want to advance, better themselves, uh, are inclined to be cut off at the knees by their own people. And the, we have a word in Uralia, Idira. Who do you think you are? So if you're progressing, if you're uh, soaking up education, uh, we have people using this word, Dira. Who do you think you are? Now, you're bettering yourself and they cut you off at the knees. Uh, that is something that we have to overcome, I think. I envisage uh, uh, the sharing of uh, knowledge, indigenous knowledge, um, would be uh, uh, so beneficial uh, because most people who work in schools have no, no inkling of uh, of how Indigenous communities operate. So I'd, I think I'd, I'd be encouraging that yeah. uh, strong liaison between Aboriginal communities and school. And I think it's happening. Uh, you know, in programs that we have running down the south coast, coast closing the gap, I think that's, that, is, that sort of thing is happening. And I'm hoping that uh, it will lead to greater participation in everyday affairs of this country. You know, our fellows will 
our people will become uh, um, will become more educated uh, and more able to participate in the everyday affairs of this country uh, rather than uh, elect to dwell on past injustices and and uh, and do nothing. Yeah. Well, uh, I found that uh, as a teacher, you are not only uh, you're judged not only on the ability to deliver a subject matter, uh, but uh, your ability to uh, to change and influence those with whom you. Uh, are involved, uh, influence them for the good. And the role of a teacher is so, so important. Um, and these are my, my um, expressions um, when I delivered an occasional address at University of Wollongong about how important it is to be a teacher. Um, so I said to the, the graduating students on that particular evening, I congratulate you for what you have a, accomplished thus far, and I congratulate you too, and wish you well as you go to work with our most precious resource. Your rewards may not come at the end of the day or week, or month, or even a year, but 20 or more years down the track. Your work will not make you rich in money terms. Your wealth will be measured in turning people's lives around as McKinnon did for me. Teaching is an exciting and important profession, for teaching creates all other professions. Having become a teacher, I can assure you that your days will never be the same in more ways than one. And I have the support of one who writes, throughout the course of a day, I have been called upon to be an actor, friend, nurse, doctor, coach, finder of lost articles, money lender, taxi driver, psychologist, substitute parents, salesmen, politicians and keeper of the faith. I am a warrior, daily doing battle against peer pressure, negativity, fear, conformity, prejudice, ignorance and apathy. But I have great allies, intelligence, curiosity, individuality, creativity, faith, Love and laughter all rush to my banner with unfailing report. I'm a teacher. Uh, even though I left, left home uh, when I was 12, uh, I, the hair still raises on the back of my neck when I go to Hebel and Gaduga mm. uh, 70 years later. They, they still get the same thrill about uh, what we call Murumba, mm. going back to, to country. Mm. Um, and um, having moved from uh, from uh, Gurumba to where I, oh, I have lived since 1955, I also tapped into the indigenous community. Mm. So, and I find, like you, that those uh, links with with people, our people, uh, are important, mm. very important. I think back to my time, in, uh, particularly in primary school, where in a little place like Gaduga, where which was one teacher at the time, and an enrolment of about 40, and uh, I suppose about 95% Indigenous enrolment. And the teachers were itinerant people coming into the town, mm. very quickly taking on the attitude of non-Indigenous people towards Indigenous people. And uh, I was fortunate to have this teacher who didn't fit that mould. Mm. I thought I had some ed uh, uh, educational promise and set for a state bursary 
and that's where my my uh, my journey took off. Mm. And when I, I was in a position uh, uh, of authority in schools, I always reminded teachers, and you'll be in that position, um, of the great opportunity that you have uh, and the great responsibility you have mm. for bending the twig like Mr McKinnon did for me. Uh, and to say role model. So it's up to the teacher and it's also up to, I think it's also, this is my, uh, my discovery when I, uh, when I was in the job, um, that home, the home is also an inclusion of the home, mm. uh, the input that comes from home is, is so important. And when the, uh, the, the mandatory policy of uh, average education, average studies came to effect, um, we found it, as a principal of a school, we found it, teachers wanted to be involved, but they didn't know how to proceed. So there's an education of teachers uh, to, be, to, be, uh, to be dealt with. And also, uh, we, uh, it was uh, imperative that the, the homes be involved as well, but we couldn't involve the, uh, the Aboriginal community because of their, they didn't want to be involved because of their negative experiences with schools and mm. their, so that, that was quite a, quite a big problem. I'd like to read you uh, just sort of emphasising the fact that homes, what uh, mums and dads say uh, or do uh, is so important. Mm. And I'd just like to read you a little poem. Um, when you thought I wasn't looking, it's called. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you hang my first painting on the refrigerator and I wanted to paint another one. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you feed a stray cat and I thought it was good to be kind to animals. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you make my favourite cake for me and I knew that little things are special things. When you thought I wasn't looking, I heard you say a prayer and I believed that there was a God to talk to. When you thought I wasn't looking, I felt you kiss me goodnight and I felt love. And when you thought I wasn't looking, I saw tears come from your eyes. And I learned that sometimes things hurt, but it's all right to cry. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw that you cared and I wanted to be everything that I could be. When you thought I wasn't looking, I looked and I wanted to say thanks for all the things I saw when you thought I wasn't looking. So mums and dads are important, aren't they?